For the fifth time in four years, someone in Coon Rapids is alive thanks to the skills taught by the city's Heart Safe program. The young mother was at work when she suddenly went into full cardiac arrest. That's when a former city councilwoman heard the commotion and came to her co worker's aid. Bill Hudson spoke with her about a life saving skill everyone should have, but many don't. February 6th was like any other workday at the offices of Babcock, Manila, and Clint. But by 10 a.m., everything stopped. A young woman slumped over at her desk in full cardiac arrest. You could tell right away she wasn't breathing. Denise Clint was just down the hall. The former council member learned CPR as part of the city's heart safe program. And Brian taught us you do it to the tune of staying alive. <laughs> so I'm physically saying that out loud. And she kept doing it until police and paramedics took over. The woman was transported to Mercy Hospital and is now back home. For Clint, it's been emotional. I just thought, okay, she needs help. We got to do this. You just do it. Clint was trained by Officer Brian Platts, who calls it a ripple effect. The hour and a half that she spent with me three years ago, and now a child has a mother. Parents likely still have a daughter. Four years since starting the city's heart safe program, 15,000 residents like Clint have learned the skill. So it's the bystander. It's what you do while waiting for the help that will determine life or death. That's it. And what's more satisfying than saving another's life? I did save a life. Her family now has her there. We weren't attending a funeral. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. And the Heart Safe program continues to grow. Tomorrow, the 500 member senior class at Blaine High School will be trained in emergency CPR. How about that? Yeah, thank goodness, right? Really, right place, yeah, right. right time, and the training works. So, mm -hmm. well done, everybody.